Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hobbits. Today, check out two beers I got on Beer Dome, some West Coast stuff from a brewery I really adore. This is from Modern Times. It's so rare we see Modern Times in Europe, but when we do, I always try to jump at the chance uh, to try their stuff. I've always been hesitant to trying their IPAs, but we actually got two IPAs a day, mainly because I found out they were actually kind of fresh. Kind of. Kind of. I mean, they're two months old, so not that fresh, but that's better than nothing, right? So I really enjoy Modern Times. Their stout game and barrel age game has just become so fucking great. And when I was there in 18, in, uh, in San Diego, I mean, the stuff I had on tab with Ryan, Ryan Rashawn, Stumpy Joe Jr. He's actually been posting a couple of reviews as of late, guys, if you remember him. You should check out his channel. It's just like the odd stuff. It's some, was it, not Moonraker? No. Some, I can't remember, it was, uh, some loggers. But um, yeah, we went there, or we met up there and had some beer and it was, it was great. Even went to Modern Times Tap Takeover as well when I was in, in San Francisco. So I think they're a great brewery. I would wish that we got more in Europe, but it's like sporadically with a lot of, as with a lot of American beer. It seems like the West Coast stuff especially is very sporadic. Like it's like all of a sudden there'll be a shipment of many random different breweries on a pallet together, I guess, shipped over. And then that's what we get. So I think it's something like that. But yeah, we're checking out two beers, two IPAs from Modern Times, a West Coast IPA and a Hazy IPA, a New England IPA. And we're checking out their Blazing World and their Mythic Worlds. So both beers, I think they're quite, you know, I, I guess they're in a similar series. I think it's core range beers. Uh, both are, you know, IPAs, one being Hazy, one not. But I think we should start off with the West Coast IPA, the Blazing Worlds, 6.8%. I think I've had Blazing World before in like tasters. I think I might have had it at the brewery too. But uh, yeah, it's a 60 IBU, 6.8% West Coast IPA with two row Munich and Midnight Wheat Malt. And yeah, it's got Nelson Simcoe Mosaic Hops. It's a fucking great combo right there. They say this is the stickiest of the icky. So I'm guessing it's gonna be dank. Uh, yeah, and then some of like sweet money. Dankest hops, it's just talking light and malt backbone. This sounds like, you know, as I talked about before, and like we talked about like the Beachwood kind of West Coast IPA, where it's like very hop centric, not too much malt, but also still some bitterness. Even though it's 60 IPU, IBUs, I mean, it's bitter, but it's not like crazy bitter. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. It's been a long time since, I, th I think the last time I drank a Modern Times beer might have been at Michelob Beer Celebration last year. We did have that bottle of um, the vanilla imperial stout bourbon barrel aged vanilla. Oh, we got from Joe. What the hell was it called? It was Modem Tomes, the vanilla version. I think that it's either that one or it's stuff at NBCC that's been the last I've had from him. But this looks great. Very clear, golden yellow, slightly orange. It looks more orange in camera. West Coast IPA. Nice white head, not too much, but it's been a while since I poured it because pictures for thumbnails. But yeah, let's see how the aroma. Oh man, I love that Nelson. <laughs> it smells like Nelson and it's dank. It's sticky icky, that's for sure. It smells like new school West Coast IPA because there's always like a little bit of a grapefruit kind of pithy citrus vibe underneath, but you know, it's hot side hops. It's like really dank gooseberry, like so much dank gooseberry. It smells really good, really good. Especially considering the age. Even like a hint of that blueberry note from Mosaic. The awesome thing, or the fun thing I've heard in comments sometimes when I review these beers from the States that are like IPAs, they're like, you get them fresher than me and I live in the States, so I shouldn't complain too much about them being two months old, but it smells nice. I mean, again, it's like, it's quite tropical too, like bright citrus and whatnot. Bright citrus, bright tropical fruit. Let's try it, guys. Cheers and thanks to Beer Dome for the beer. Oh. Oh, yes. Wow. That is a fucking fantastic modern West Coast IPA. I love that beer so fucking hard. Wow. I didn't expect that. It's got such... It, this is two months old? What the actual fuck? I wonder how this is that fresh. It's got so much Nelson character. It's crazy. It's like so much dank, bright, like gooseberry, white grape Nelson character, but like pithy citrus and like a nice medium bitter like aftertaste. This is like so like awesome new school West Coast. Fuck. 
this could be a go-to beer for me. Also, just I, Nelson is probably one of my all-time favorite hops. But wow, <laughs> I did not expect to like it this much. Fuck, that's delicious. And it also has some classic West Coast flavor, like the oily citrus. Like that really oily, sweet citrus, pithy flavor. Fuck, that's good. For a core range beer, that is fucking phenomenal. I'm pretty sure it's core range, because pretty much all their core range beers at modern times look, you know, with, like this, like it has this design. In terms of mouthfeel, it's like slightly slick, but it's like quite dry. Like dry and bitter. I should want in a West Coast IPA. It's fun. I just did a throwback Thursday with Green Flash. Modern Times is miles ahead. <laughs> miles ahead. Even though, like, it was nice. But this is just, like, it's fun to go from very, very old school tasting West Coast IPA to something just as old, just tasting so much more like new school West Coast. This reminds me, to be honest, of trying, like, at Alpine back in the day. Like, really bright, hop-centric juicy fruity west coast ipa with like that kick of bitterness and big dankness and everything which is fucking awesome it's really tasty that's my kind of west coast ipa and that is exactly what i want to see what i want to see more of instead of only haze <laughs> but no wow i like this much more than i thought it, it actually also it has a little bit of a i'm a boy who's vibe as well. A lot of their brighter or newer West Coast IPAs are kind of like this. Or the ones they did a few years back, like Batch 1000. Oh, this is really good. That was awesome, guys. Let's move on to the New England IPA. So I've had, or Hazy IPA, I've had a few Hazy IPAs from modern times. And they've all been very nice too. I mean, they are just, in all in all, a great brewery. This is 7.5%. Uh, this has got two row pale ale malt, malted wheat and flaked oats. And it is 50 IBU, so also a little bit more bitter than your average West Coast IPA. It's not going to be all a West Coast New England IPA. It's not going to be all only juice. I feel like a lot of the, the West Coast or New England IPAs are usually, often they're around like 20. Uh, but this one is made with Galaxy, Motueka, Mosaic, and Sultana hops. 7.5%. So I also think this will work with Galaxy. Again, it has a bit more sweetness. They say this is a yeah, delicious IPA. Big peach, passion fruit, tropical radness over a backbone of ripe citrus. Okay. I love their descriptions. But yeah, okay, let's try Mythic Worlds. Looks great. Looks like what you'd expect from a New England IPA. It's hazy, it's golden yellow. Again, I think this might not, I'm not sure if it's going to hold up as well as it's a New England IPA, not a West Coaster, but it's two months old, you know. Well, that's a little bit old for these styles, but I'm impressed. Like, this just held up so well. It's crazy good. But it looks great. So again, as I said, like hazy, golden orange color, white head. Let's check out the aroma. Yeah, so it's not maybe not as singing as Blazing World. It's definitely got like sweet, juicy, like melony notes from Galaxy. And what they've definitely nailed with this is like it's the, the, the Galaxy Hop is not like peppery and spicy. It's the, the juicy melon kind of thing that you get from Galaxy. It has a little bit of an old tea leafy hop note, which interestingly enough, Blazing World did not have. But it also depends on different storage temperatures and whatnot for these beers. Machueca is often like very orangey, but also very like mango-like, and it has like that kind of mango, peppery mango thing. A little bit of like a dankness too from, I'm, I'm guessing I'm mistaken. I don't know Sultana hops, so. They say lots of peach and passion fruit. Actually, I think it's more like Really sweet tropical fruit, like really sweet peppery mango. With a look like that kind of melon thing. and Yeah, I can see some stone fruit. But it, it's not as vibrant as Blazing World. But maybe it is on the taste, so let's find out. Cheers. Check it out. Ooh, yeah, okay. With age, Blazing World holds up fantastically compared to Mythic Worlds. I mean, it still tastes nice, especially the aftertaste. Uh, up front, I had like a hint of alcohol, but the aftertaste is more like really juicy melon. But Blazing World, two months of age, it's fucking, I'm amazed how well that held up. That could be like a, like a go-to beer of mine. Seriously, so good. Mm. 
Yeah, it has a little bit of that old tea leafy hop thing, just a little bit. And then a little bit of a alcohol, almost like permanent marker thing that I'm I'm picking up on, but like compared to the West Coast, uh, the Hazy IPA from Green Flash, this is like miles ahead because it actually has hop character. It's not like just mellow and with yeast character, which I feel like, you know, it's uh, that one was almost like reminding me of like macro examples of like Hazy IPA because often I feel like they go that route. They, they don't have as much hops in it because it's expensive, but they have a yeast that is fruity. And then it's just lacking the hot. It's like this, it's the, it, the combination of both that makes this style work. Uh, but yeah, the overripe kind of me juicy melon thing is definitely there from Galaxy without it being like peppery and spicy as it sometimes can be. And lots of sweet like peppery mango, like really sweet peppery mango. Just got cut off there, guys. Ran out of space on the camera. Uh, but rating-wise, Blazing World, 94. I did not expect to like this this much. This is a fantastic modern West Coast IPA. I would drink this hard all the time if I could get it, you know, fresh. Locally. I just, I'm gonna go 94 because I think, it's crazy, I don't think I've ever rated a, an, an older IPA that high, but I just, imagine this dead fresh. It might be like 95, 96. Like, this is just so good. I just love that Nelson character. Uh, Mythic World, it's also nice, but I think this suffers more from age. Um, you can definitely see that it's like, it's still juicy and fruity and whatever, but it's not like as popping as it could have been. And it has a little bit of that like alcohol, almost like slightly permanent marker vibe. It's definitely also sweeter, but the thing is it's the sweet juicy fruit. Because if you look at the final gravity, this is finished lower than this, but this seems much sweeter. But esters usually taste sweet in a beer like this. But yeah, it's still got some nice flavors. Again, as I said, like all the the like this like sweet, slightly peppery mango, the sweet juicy melon is there, things like that. And also, yeah, a little bit of spice, a little bit of a dankness, uh, lots of sweet citrus too, a decent bitterness as well for the style, which is nice. But it's just not rocking my world as much as this. You, this shows more signs of age than this. It's just, everything is a little bit less on this in terms of like oomph. Um, but I still think it's nice. I'm still gonna go like an 89. I think it's a nice New England IPA, for sure. But it's just lacking that extra poof. Whereas this, I can't believe this drinks so well. It's fucking two months. This is, Fuck, that's a great IPA. That would be a perfect go-to IPA for me. I always said like West Coast IPA favorite would be Swami. Swami, man, you've been topped by, by Blazing Worlds. This would be, if I was in San Diego, this would be in my fridge all the time because I love it. it has the bitterness of a West Coast IPA. Maybe not as crazy, but then you have all these bright flavors. It just takes me back to fucking Alpine. <laughs> Very good. Mm. Well, yeah, so if you guys had a chance to try either, fuck, that's good. Blazing World or Mythic Worlds from Modern Times. Let me know what you thought of them. It's really fun to try some Modern Times IPA. Again, not that fresh. If any of you guys have like barrel aged Modern Times or anything like that, let me know. It could be fun to get some, some of their stouts or, you know, Wizard Blend. I'd love to get a bottle of that. That was insane. But yeah, guys, that does it for this beer review. Thanks a ton for watching. Check out Beer Dome, link for the shops down below. I'm not sure if these are still available. This might be a little bit into the future because I have a big back catalog of reviews at the moment because it's COVID-19 times, Nine, COVID-19, yeah. And uh, we've been doing a few shares because now you have time. Now it's easier to do this stuff. So yeah, if you had a chance to try Blazing World or Mythic World, let me know with all them awesome beers, especially Blazing World. That's awesome, really, really good. And as always, once you comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'm gonna say cheers. And sorry for the fucking long videos as of late. I ramble so much on my own, it's crazy. But cheers and see you guys in another review.